Good day again, and here we are at Anastasia Radio on the internet, and once again my name is Stephen Pierce, and we're going to talk about structural sustainability. Believe it or not, there's been a system around since 1930 that is one of the most sustainable systems in architectural construction material that has ever been designed. This system was introduced by the United States Forestry Department in a goal to lower the impact on the forest or deforestation that they knew was going to happen due to the growth in building and development that was coming forward. Matt Helena Roosevelt, the first lady, dedicated the first home built with this system. And then Frank Lloyd Wright in 1935 to 1940 in his Euthonia house actually employed this system and used it extensively during that period of time. The system we're talking about is called SIP structural panels, SIP structural panels. Now over the years of course this uh, design has become uh, perfected and, and advanced in many ways like all technologies and is now being employed in construction all over the world in many different ways. Now what we looked at is okay what is the best design within this SIP structural panel? So we wanted a material that was going to withstand all of the elements at the highest level. So we picked those materials that fit into the SIP panel systems in that way. There's a lot of different SIP panel systems, but the, the three we picked were very uh, unique because they meet all the goals of what we talked about in our last segment within physical sustainability. They are resistant to fire, mold, insects, earthquakes, hurricanes and tornadoes. Matter of fact, this particular material was is used for a multitude of applications. And in the hur the tornadoes that we had in the US last year, many times people would get inside these cooler vaults in a grocery store or a convenience store, the store would be completely destroyed, the cooler vault was sitting there intact and the people inside it were not harmed. That is the same system that we employ in our design. There are three types of SIPs, let me go over them. We have a magboard SIP panel that is structural. We have a Durarock Duraboard SIP panel that is structure, well, structural. And then we have what we call a Galvalum SIP panel that's structural. Now the key to these is not only the outside skins that have the high ability to resist fire and damage from those uh, from other events and not have mold in them or insect infestations like you would have in an OSB SIP that has wood in it. They also have closed cell foam in the center that is a uh, recycled material and this is some of the most uh, economical insulating material in the world and so if dollar for dollar you can't beat it on cost. Now these panels are structural and if you design the homes and buildings to them you usually have to add no structural components or very few. Now if you don't you will have to add some structural components due to wind loads for hurricane and tornadoes and things like that. So that's the SIP panel system. It has been around a long time if you go out there on the internet and do some research, you'll see all kinds of information about SIP panels. Remember the three types that we employ in our design. But the great thing about them is not only the, that the fact that they're resistant to all these things, they also can be designed to any architectural style. Matter of fact, if you build a house that is conventionally built, let's say stick built or concrete or whatever, and right next to it you build an identical house using the SIP structural panels, when the homes are completed and finished, you will not be able to tell any difference in the architectural visual of these homes. What you will be able to see is when you go in the homes, they are a thermal dynamic home. This is the great thing about them. So they don't take very they take very little energy to maintain the internal temperature at a comfortable state. So you'll be using about 80% uh, less power to heat and cool them. And then you also, uh, they're designed to be.